So what are the keys to changing your life forever? I don't know. You might be in a slump at the moment. You might be feeling like your life is standing still and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to be giving you access to four keys to continuous improvement and four keys that will change your life most likely forever. What did he say? If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Please violate the subscribe button and the post notifications bell next to it. Let's go. First, changing your life forever might seem like a very daunting task and many of us tremble just at the thought of it. But it boils down to four common things that I've noticed. And this is something I've noticed in self-help books. This is some things I've noticed among successful people. And the first key that we need to talk about is discipline, but not just any discipline, continuous discipline. I think, you know, people always, you know, say that you know, successful people are lucky. You're lucky to have that amount of money. You're lucky to have your parents help you out. Yes, in fact, they are. But it does not make it impossible for you to achieve the same amount of success. If you practice continuous discipline, and discipline is something that I will always believe in, it's something that I will personally always try to practice to the best of my abilities. Not only because, you know, it's one of the most important keys to success, because it makes me feel better as a person. It makes me feel more productive. It makes me feel just better about my day. Now, if you're someone who struggles with discipline, the first thing I would recommend you do is please go and get yourself some proper self-help books, whether it be Rich Dad, Poor Dad, whether it be uh, the 5 a.m. Club. Please enjoy a book like this, even if it's one book a month. Yeah, baby! Try and read one book a month like this. It will change your whole perspective. Remember that discipline ultimately boils down to your mindset. If your mindset cannot foster discipline, you will never be able to practice it. And the other thing that I want to say about discipline is that it takes time to develop, right? I think a habit, they say it, it takes 21 days to develop a habit. Well, what I also recommend you do is take up a new productive habit, meditation, yoga, whatever it be, and do that for 21 days straight and hold yourself accountable. There's no skipping days in between. 21 days straight, I want you to pick a habit and I want you to practice it and I want to I want you to keep record of it, right? So if you've completed your session for the day, tick it off. Completed your session for the next day, tick it off until you practice that habit for 21 days. And you'll find that it will be so indoctrined into you that is not effort. And right there, you've developed discipline. So it is really not that difficult to develop, but continuous discipline and developing it is the first and probably the most important key to changing your life forever. To improving our lives, forever or changing our lives forever is going to be continuous improvement of our abilities continuous improvement of our self-confidence our self-awareness just ourselves as a whole and when i talk about self-improvement i talk about improving yourself spiritually i talk about improving yourself mentally physically financially whatever it may be you have to be willing to improve in all of those aspects you know and especially if you're on the road to success it doesn't matter if you're male or female if you are on a road to improve your life you're gonna have to pay attention you know not only to your financial life you're gonna have to pay attention to your spiritual life your mental life and your physical life as well because the thing is that all of those factors are interlinked and together they give you that capability to reach new heights boy no way boy now what i would recommend you do is pick one activity that can help you improve each facet of your life right so for physical wellness i would obviously choose yoga i would choose uh running i would choose going to the gym for financial i would obviously you know speaking to a financial advisor about your financial situation i would read self you know more financial books read up about the topics and how you can invest your money better or how you can use your money better on the spiritual side i would pay attention to my religion right so whatever if you're an atheist pay attention to your beliefs there but if you believe it doesn't matter if you believe in buddha allah you know it doesn't matter pay attention to your religion as well and then mental wise do things that you actually enjoy you have to have those de-stressing mechanisms because you know especially the road to self-improvement is not always going to be easy oh did he oh there are going to be multiple bumps in the road that you're going to need to cross and for that 
reason alone you need a de-stressing mechanism and that's why it's so so important to especially pay attention to the mental uh, side of your health so the simplest strategy here is pick those four activities one for each facet of your life and continue with them as i said 21 days to build a habit so make sure you at first your first target should be 21 days for each of those habits and you'll just notice that they become so part of your life that they're no longer effort and you in the process improve your mental health your spiritual health your physical health and your financial health by these methods strategy is what i like to call oqp only quality people i always say that you most likely are the average of the five people you hang around with most in your life once again i say that Surround yourself with successful people and you're more likely to become successful. Surround yourself with people who have no ambition, you're most likely to fall in that same trap. So get rid of the people that mean nothing to you. Get rid of the people that, you know, are not contributing to your mental health, your financial health, your physical health, are not motivating you to do better and get you some new friends. Let me tell you how this is going to work. You get friends that have ambition. Get friends that are more successful than you. I always you know, it's the same with, with fitness. I always train with someone who, or prefer to train with someone who is stronger or fitter than me because that pushes me to do better for myself. I always look up to someone who's doing financially better than me because that motivates me to kind of almost chase that or try and mirror that. But the point is, is that if you don't surround yourself with quality people, your life is never going to improve. So make sure even if it's one or two quality people, that is all you need on your side. Not only will they inspire you, but the, most often these successful people are very humble and they will help you to reach your goals by giving you much, much needed advice. The key to changing your life forever is something I like to call the noise filter. And the noise filter, the main purpose of it is to block out negativity remember that negativity is like a disease it festers itself in your mindset voluntarily so unlike positivity which you have to kind of force into your mind negativity in the absence of positivity will fester itself in your mind and that is why so many people fall in this trap they don't have the ability to block out that so-called noise or negativity this negativity might be coming from social media might be coming from television might be coming from other people in your life that are putting you down but you have to practice that discipline to really block out that noise and one way i recommend doing this is by simply allowing yourself to take criticism as something i would say positive or constructive even if it's something you know not founded no proof but take that criticism and use it as motivation this is easier said than none and does take a while to kind of master this craft but the noise filter is something that is very very essential because if you don't have that the other three keys are going to fail automatically so make sure you block out the negativity and make sure that the negativity that you do allow in you convert to fuel right i always say you know what if they watch they're still fans just think about that. if they if they're watching every step of your life they're still fans you should be using that as a positive thing and you should be using that as motivation to propel yourself forward in life so four keys to basically effortlessly improve your life or change your life forever if you would like more videos like this let me know what you want to see down below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time